great football team. We cheer the Pittsburgh Steelers. What's up, guys? Welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony. Today we're going to do a what sold video. Uh, I'm going to show you everything that is sold on eBay in the last week, all the way up to what's sold recently. So here we go. The most recent thing that's sold, um, I'm still waiting on payment for. I took a best offer, so I don't have that in this video. But um, the most recent thing that sold before that was this morning. I sold a pair of these Pokemon Snorlax slides. These were clearance uh, from GameStop. And uh, these, I think I paid a dollar a piece for these. So all of the ones I bought were basically paid for by this. Um, I did take a best offer of $14 for this, um, full transparency, and uh, that's what I got shipping. So um, that was a good sale. Uh, this was a little cheapy. Um, this is the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. I got this out of the Goodwill bins. This is a really old listing. Uh, this is a 1996 Burger King toy. So as you see, I got $2.85 plus shipping. I sold these. These are like uh, Lincoln Logs, only they're Kids Connection, wood log building. So I basically just dumped them out and said, this is what you get. Um, so as you can see, it's like, a, I don't know if this is the generic brand or whatnot, but I got eleven fifty plus shipping on those. This I picked up at Goodwill for, I think, two ninety nine. This is a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants clock that says fun. Got $27 plus shipping on top for that one. This is cool. I got this out of the... Actually, I got this from the Goodwill. I wasn't going to say the bins, but I got a similar one at the bins that was pink. Um, so this is just a Penn State football uh, memory ball throwback collection. Got $16.50 plus shipping on that. Next, this was a really good sale. I got him uh, at a yard sale this summer i got a whole bag of toy story toys for i want to say five dollars and most of them were good and valuable ones so this one i got 1995 plus shipping this one is a goodwill bins find it's a super mario uh he lights up i got 297 plus shipping this is a uh movie theater mylar um, as you see, there's a little crack right there. I ended up just giving it to the person for free because I didn't disclose that crack, even though the picture should have shown it. Um, but that's just the way I run my business. If there's a problem with the item and I don't disclose it, rather than having an issue with the customer, I just send it to them for free. And I let them know that it's my policy to make sure that... Um, I'll have to show you guys this one, too. That's what just sold a jersey. Um, but I did just get paid for that, so that's good. Um, I make it my policy that it, a uh, hundred percent satisfaction. If they're not, then I just give it to them for free. So that's what I did here. So I didn't disclose that crack. Um, this is a set of Mickey Mouse ears, uh, Star Wars edition. This is when, uh, Star Wars first became a part of Disney. Uh, I disclosed this on my... Uh, morning show, the Entrepreneur's Morning Show that I do with uh, Tommy, the Bargain Effect, and Nate, Every Day I'm Hustling. Um, there's a place called the Character Warehouse, and you can go and buy stuff from the parks at a like 75% discount. These I paid a dollar ninety nine for at the Character Warehouse, um, which was an awesome deal. Um, I originally brought these back as a souvenir for my nephew, and I guess he never used it, so my mom gave it back to me. So, I put it on eBay. This was a Goodwill Bins find. This is a really good quality uh, runner's hat. This is one of those Nike Dry Fit Featherlight running caps. Um, these sell really well, so if you ever come across these, pick them up. Uh, they sell really quickly. I got $14.95 plus shipping on it. These are uh, pretty good selling, too. This was a Nintendo DS Lite carrying case. Um, anytime you find carrying cases for like Nintendo items, pick them up because they do sell and they do, they do pretty good. So definitely pick them up. I always separate, uh, the cases from, uh, items whenever I sell them too, because the cases sell for, yeah you know, anywhere from eight to 10 to even 12 to $15 on their own, depending on what cases they are. 
this is a this was pretty bad actually. I set this up as an auction and it only had two bids. Sold for two dollars and twenty five cents. Let me give you a better picture of what's actually in this because this was really stupid on my behalf and just full transparency. Like I don't know what any of this stuff is worth, so I basically just put it up at the at auction so that the market would dictate what it was worth, and I got two dollars and twenty five cents for it. So. Yeah, I got kicked in the teeth on this one, guys. I'm sure that they'll make their money back on, like, the cost of the metals alone. I hate pop-ups, guys. All right. So this is a Snoopy plush. This is uh, by Everhart. This is, like, some kind of art artistic Snoopy plush. So you see, like, little paint splatters on him and stuff. Then he has this bag of caramels with him. So this is an older plush, so those caramels are probably, like, nasty by now. But I got twenty three ninety five for him, plus shipping on top. A lot of people say plush doesn't sell. As you'll see in this video, I sold quite a few plush this week. I sold this. This was a yard sale find. Uh, I might have had 3 to $5 into this. I would guess probably closer to 3 They always say Sony sales, and it does. Um, so this is a... Uh, cassette and a CD player and a radio. So I got fifty three ninety five plus shipping for that. Pretty good sale. This uh, I'm pretty sure I took a forty dollar offer on this one. I, I picked this up at a flea market for ten dollars. Reason I picked it up was because I saw Joe Thomas on there, and uh, he is a future Hall of Fame uh, tackle that played for the Browns. He was one of my favorite players in his era, uh, just because that's one of the positions I played, and uh, I just really uh, appreciated his gameplay. So I got about $40 plus shipping on that. No COA, by the way. Sold this one for $20.80 plus shipping. This is a Gans Webkins Golden Retriever. This one is very sought after. I sold this probably within 15 minutes of listing it. So if you can find this this little fellow right here, pick him up because he's a bolo. It's the Gans Webkins Signature Golden Retriever. And let me show you how you can tell it's a Webkins. So a lot of people have asked me. So you'll, if I can make it big here, you'll see this little thing here that stands for Webkins. Um, there's that on every single one of the uh, Webkins here. And they have all different types of animals and stuff like that. Then there's typically a tag that'll say Gans on it too. Let's see if I have a, there you go, Gans. So you see those two things. That's how you can tell it's a it's a Webkins. Another plush. We have uh, Ray Mysterio Brawlin' Buddies. This was a Goodwill Bins find. So essentially like uh, the wrestling buddies back in the day. Uh, Fifteen twenty five plus shipping for him. This was a really good sale here, eighty nine ninety five, uh, for a Sony uh, receiver. It's not in like the greatest condition. It's a little bit older, but it does work. Um, so yeah, I, I downgraded the price a little bit due to conditioning and stuff like that. But uh, I think I paid five bucks for that in an estate sale, and I turned that into ninety. So I was more than happy with that. Next sale was this. Uh, Derek actually. Uh, told me how much to list this one for. This is a uh, Hot Wheels uh, Vintage uh, Real Riders 1983 Dodge Rampage. The reason this was so expensive is because of this uh, little three-wheeler in the back. Um, most times Derek said that is not there anymore, so the fact that this still had it uh, made it pretty sought after. I got uh, It was on sale $26.95 plus shipping. This is a Goodwill Bins find. Uh, I just thought it was interesting. Songs that got us through World War II. Uh, it was just a cassette. Um, got five twenty-five plus shipping. This is just a Pokemon card. It was a holographic. Uh, it's Dialga, and um, I got a dollar eighty 
plus they paid shipping on it. Normally I don't uh, charge shipping, so I must have forgotten to take off shipping. So I just sent this out first class for them. Uh, I didn't use a stamp. I actually put it in a bubble mailer with the top loader and everything. This is a uh, Pittsburgh Penguins uh, 1967 throwback type hat. Um, it's not actually from 1967. It's just uh, branded there because that's when they were wearing this co these colors. So um, it it's a newer like remake. Uh, so I got 8.95 plus shipping. That was a Goodwill bins find. Okay, I got this little fella. I'm pretty sure I picked him up for 50 cents at the Goodwill by my house. Um, he sold really quickly, too. He sold, like, within the first day of listing. Uh, this is a Hallmark Tuckabellies plush octopus. So, yeah, I was happy to see him go, too. $9 plus shipping. Okay, so this is a uh, RA find from Walmart. Uh, they had these, uh, these Xbox One games on sale for $15. Uh, this is Farming Simulator 19. Um, all of these games that you're going to see uh, throughout the rest of this video, they all sold within four days. So I got 30.55. I was running a store-wide 10% off sale. Uh, 30.55 plus shipping. Uh, here's a uh, John Cena action figure, and I got 7.56 for him. Uh, he's one of the figures I picked up whenever I went to visit Derek. Um, not sure which location I got him at because I picked up a ton of action figures that week, but he's one of them. Another farming simulator sold. I think I had four of these. I either had I either had two or four, uh, but I also sold some on Macari as well. So this one sold on eBay for thirty fifty five. Crash uh, Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Um, this sold for thirty one forty five. Again, I had $15 into all these, so these were pretty much all double-ups. Uh, another one sold. I uh, had two of these, and they both sold on eBay. Uh, $31.45. World War Z. Um, I actually took a little bit less on this one. $28.75, uh, but it sold, it sold quick. So that was a little less than a double-up. Uh, Haunting in Connecticut. I've had this one forever. This was like one of the original um, things that I was selling at the flea market whenever I started eBay. Because as you can see, there's my kitchen table behind it. So you can tell how long I've had it. Uh, Wreckfest. This is a Bolo too. I had four of these. They all sold very fast. Thirty-one fifty on that one. Another plush. Uh, this is a Minecraft Creeper. I uh, grabbed him probably from the Goodwill bins. Uh, this actually might even be one of the uh, plush that I picked up when I was with Derek at the bins in New Hampshire. So I got $9 plus shipping on him. Another copy of Wreckfest. Like I said, this game is a bolo. If you see it out there and you can get it cheap, pick it up. It'll sell for around $30, give or take. I got $31.50. Uh, this is a Sonic Wacky Pack meal, kids meal thing of Michelangelo. From the Ninja Turtles, got five dollars and forty cents for him, plus shipping. Uh, here's another um, plush sale. This is uh, Ugly Dolls Green Ox. I picked him up for fifty cents at the Goodwill near me, and he sold for eight dollars and forty cents plus shipping. Uh, this was a Goodwill bins find. This was a uh, Olaf like little beanie hat. Um, somebody bought this off of me uh, for $6.53 plus shipping. This, uh, I actually got considerably less on this than I thought I would. I kept lowering the price, lowering the price. I bought two of these ships for um, $5 for both at a uh, yard sale over the summer. The first one sold for $40, and as you can see, this one I got $8.77 plus shipping. So all it is is like a model ship. This one had a few like little ropes loose and stuff on it, so I downgraded price for that. Um, another copy of Wreckfest, like I told you guys, that's a bolo. Sold me a good bit of those. Here's a Chicago Bulls uh, beanie hat. I got this uh, at the Goodwill Bins. Sold it for eight fifty five plus shipping. Another copy of Wreckfest. Like I said guys, it's a bolo. Thirty one fifty plus shipping. 
Here's another hat I got from the Goodwill Bins. This is a Pitt lacrosse hat. Uh, $7.83 plus shipping on that one. Uh, Samsung remote control. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. I, I get up all the uh, remotes I can find at the Bins, and I list them. And they typically sell pretty good. I got $9.27 for that one plus shipping. Then I got, uh, the, these actually came from the bins too, believe it or not. These are really old, um, really old. I didn't even have like a setup uh, on my table yet. This is when I first moved to the basement. Uh, you can probably even see basement floor right there. Yeah, this, this is really old, guys. So this is a set of unbranded hubcaps. Um, I actually did send these out, but one of the hubcaps, like the plastic pieces on the back that clip into the like the wheel area, uh, that actually broke. So I refunded the customer for these and then I submitted a uh, claim to USPS and they refunded me for uh, the cost of the item plus shipping. So uh, I made out and the customer made out. Of it. 